How does a team that won just four games last season begin anew? Black versus gray. Right now, let's see who wants it more. Black team! Lock it out. Great team! Give me two more. Let's go. Oh, you're getting tired. 23. Great team! Three point shooting, so get warmed up. Here we go. Ten five, great team. We got the quarterback toss next. Ten throws each. <laughs> Hitting the rim is worth one. In the net. It's worth two. <laughs> We've got the sled push relay. Ocho. <laughs> Tires got to break the plane. Black team, 19. Gray team, 18. Down to the tug of war. Congratulations to the black team. You had fun today, you smile, you laugh. And, and the thing about it is, you're competing. And that's what we gotta do from this point on. Everything we do, let's compete. Trash? <laughs> the already. There we go. Uh oh. Look at him. He got a little style. Look at that. <laughs> nice no, shot. No, no. Nice shot, buddy. It is kind of the calm before the storm, and we don't get to tailgate. So tonight is our tailgate. It's a great opportunity to bring our entire football operation together and uh, gives them a chance to reconnect after we've been apart for vacation for four or five weeks. Everybody knows how excited we are. Uh, we can't wait to get to work and, uh, and get that bad taste of, out of our mouth from last season. Andrew has to weigh in in the morning, so we're eating salad. She asked me, what is it exactly that you're nervous about? I was like, well, there's a million things you can be nervous about. I mean, uh, are you going to weigh in right? Are you going to be in condition? Are you in shape to handle training camp? Have you done every possible thing you can to be ready? Just think about me when... We're doing the Oklahoma drill, and I got full pads on. You're doing, what is this? The Oklahoma drill? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Me versus a D lineman and a running back behind me. So you got to move the guy. Kind of a mono -a mono you know. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. 
It was real little when I used to play here. You remember that? You don't remember. Your mom used to sit right back there. And she had a big belly like this. And you was in there kicking. When I scored a touchdown, you would kick. I have a couple degrees, you know, I plan on, I could work, I have some job offers and things like that. Um, I could do that, but then I say, well, look, why not play football? It's no job like that on the planet. What'd you say, you want to just play linebacker? You don't want to carry the ball, you just want to tackle, huh? See, I'll be blocking guys like you, because you're going to play linebacker. Mm. Mm. That's love. security around here now, huh? What if I didn't have my ID on me? Then I would have to tell you you would have to go back out and you would have to get an ID and you would have to come back in when you had an ID. I'm sorry. Training camp or Fort Knox? Which one? <laughs> See you later. TVs in our room? Yeah, you're not already in there. So, There's no TV? I got you have to rent it. Yeah, off the chain. <laughs> For real. The 26 is 93. The 32 inch is 122. 42 inch is 183. And if you need a, do you need an Ethernet cord for internet access? Yes, I do. Okay, I gotta pay for that too? Wait, no, no, they can't. I'm gonna say, dang, y'all just coming up with everything. <laughs> there are two ways to get to an NFL training camp. Veterans arrive to a throng of reporters. Have you watched T.O.'s show at all? Yeah. yeah what do you I, think I, of I, it? I like it. I like it. Rookies. Reek of the bus. Why don't we go out this way, though? I'm heading in the right direction, right? Yeah. Uh, There's 112 down that way. 112? Is it that way? Do you have an idea where the 221 buildings are? No. Around? Okay. Good morning. Uh, welcome here to Georgetown. Last season for us did not go well. It was an embarrassment. We disappointed ourselves. Uh, we let our fans down, and they let us hear about it. We exposed ourselves to the media, which criticized us and mocked us. Uh, this is a hard business. It can be a tough bottom line business where all that matters is did you win or did you lose? We have a shot at a, a good season, a successful winning season, the kind of season we all want and expect. And now is the time for us to answer back. And the place for us to answer back is on the playing field. And from there, our critics will hear us loud and clear. Few NFL teams have as much to prove in 2009 as the Bengals. All right, let's get the first part right first. How to practice. And no Bengal has more at stake than head coach Marvin Lewis. Let's go, let's go, in and out quickly, in and out quickly. Let's go, let's go. We, we had a sense of frustration last season. Uh, the only thing that changes those things is winning. You have to understand, you gotta learn how to practice. Now this is my time. Let's go, work at it, work at it, work at it. Why are we walking the whole time? Sharpen it up, quit looking around, let's go. You gotta make something happen. We need to start coming together. Some of you guys think this is like vacation. We're coming to summer vacation or something. Don't be late out here on this practice field. We've got three guys coming up here late today. I ain't bull around. I'm not going to hurt the rest of the group, all right? So the next stage is guys are gone, and they're not playing. 
or you're going to move down on the chart. Whatever it may be, we're going to take time away because I got to make an effect here because we're not, we're not getting it. Marvin's message is simple and it's everywhere. We've been talking about this a little bit and had this put on the shirts to fight back. Fight back means a lot of different things to a lot of guys in here. We don't like the way last year finished. Some of you don't like because of your season, you ended your season injured, all right? Or whatever occurred, you were a different team. But fight back, it means a lot of different things, but in the end, it means the same thing. And that's coming together and fighting our way back to the top of this division. On the second day of camp, fighting back turns into fighting each other. It's called competition, man. That 4 11 season make people kind of mad, you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't even here, but I'm mad about it, you know what I'm saying? Nice so that's what it is. That's what all the fighting is about. Would you fight? Would you fight if you were 4 and 11? Why not? If you got your ass kicked, would you fight back? Maybe. Huh? Maybe. <laughs> we gotta, hey, we're gonna definitely eat dinner together tonight. We gotta talk about that. You're going into fourth grade. There's some big kids in fourth grade. Are we okay? Uh, we good on the Oklahoma drill? On day three, the fighting is sanctioned. It even has a name, the Oklahoma Drill, camp's version of a bare-knuckle brawl. It's football, man. It's a part of football. Knock the rust off, one good hit, and get out of there, man. Have a little fun with it, you know, get to see who's excited about hitting and uh, who's not. This is my first time doing it, so I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, I really don't want to do this Oklahoma Drill, man. We got to take care of our players, coach. Roy Williams played for the Sooners, but has little interest in getting reacquainted with the Oklahoma. I heard I'm going against Laverne. Uh, we already worked out a plan on how we're going to do it, and uh, kind of got caught because uh, Coach Lewis was right there when we talked about it. So I don't think we're going to be able to execute it. But, you know, we got to have the, 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 the battle of the Titans at the end, you know? What? Guys that just always want to bow up on each other. You know who likes that drill? 14. I see the big ass head in there. Yeah. Hey. Oklahoma. Oklahoma drill! Oklahoma drill! Oklahoma drill, here we go. Nowhere to hide. There you are up in front of everybody. You're out there and you got no clothes on, you know, and you, and you gotta do something about it. There are four men in an Oklahoma drill, but only the two at the line of scrimmage matter. You either rise up to the challenge or you get your butt kicked. Marvin always picks those interesting matchups at yeah. the end. We do it every year, and then, and then he finishes with about four or five matchups. I'm Mataluga! He tries to get a challenge. It's usually some younger guys that we're really trying to count on. Cow, Cow Cook, here we go. So he puts them in there and like, hey, we're, we're counting on you. Let's see what you can do. Roy Williams, pure five! Roy Williams, pure five! Here we go! Split it up, 
Good job. Split it up. Good work. Good work. That was fun to see guys compete, though. We, we got there are no cowards on this team. Oh, the rookie got me pretty good, though. He did. I still bust him a little bit. It is what it is. Hey, it's not football if you ain't bleeding. Grab your helmets. Hurry up. Grab your helmets. Rookies don't get respect automatically. First, they get chores. Even prized picks like number 80, Chase Kaufman. You gotta be me. A legal procedure, you, right there. Go ahead, 15 pushers. <sighs> we gotta make sure we're sitting there on those hard counts, even if we're in the motion, right? If we're the motion guy, okay guys? I would hope that every player can come in here and beat somebody out, but he would really have to prove that he could block the point physically as well as do the receiving part and then understand the mental part. Chase is still learning. We'll work Chase in just like we have, but allow him some time to progress and not overload him. And it's been frustrating with the blocking and learning all this new stuff, but you just got to try to learn as much as you can from the criticism. Chase, what the f were you thinking about here? Don't lunge, all right, Chase? And look at your steps, Chase. Keep coming, Chase. Why, Chase? Chase, get a base. Chase, 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 don't do that. Kaufman does have one thing going for him. Number 82, Reggie Kelly. The 11-year vet is one of the best blockers in the league and an ideal mentor for the raw rookie. Reggie Kelly is the heart of the team. He's our spiritual leader. Nice job, D. Nice job. The undrafted rookies trying to make the team don't do as much as Reggie does. Here we draft Chase Kaufman, bring him in, and there's Reggie after practice. Take him inside before or after practice, and even like after some of the plays, like come over to the side and have him kind of tell me what I need to work on. I feel like, how can I lead a game a lot better than half on it? Well, the way that I can do that is to show these younger guys how to be a professional. These guys are my little brothers, and whatever they need me to do, Big Brother Reggie's gonna be there for them. Man, we gotta work to a finished goal. Champs, keep that in your mind. Champs, champs on three. One, two, three. Champs! Go! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good extension, that's it, good extension. It's day four of camp. Nice job, nice job, that way. Damn. Far too early for an injury. Trainer. Especially to someone as valuable as Reggie Kelly. I went right over to him. I was like, what's the matter? And he said, I heard it pop. And I said, what are you talking about? And he goes, I, I heard my Kelly's pop. It is what it is. It is what it is. Well, we're going to go ahead and send you up to see the doc. Okay, we know what you did. Right. And you know the way we treat it. So mm -hmm. fix it. Yeah. What? It has to be fixed. Surgery? Yeah. Okay. And usually the recovery is about six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Doc will explain it all to you. Okay, but it's, it's a no brainer. Okay. We're going to go ahead and treat you up now and then uh, get you on crutches. We'll get you in a boot and go ahead and take a quick shower. And then we'll get you on the way to Cincinnati to go see Dr. Colosimo. Okay? You're going to be on the sidelines this year. Okay? I wish I had better news for you. Go ahead and treat him up. Yep. You want to take your pads off? I'm just going to throw some ice on if you want to take it in the shower. Okay. Yeah, I saw him.
At times, we're going to lose a player to injury. We're going to have adversity strike us, but we're going to have to overcome it. We're going to find a different way. We're going to have to step up at the tight end position. We're going to have to step up the other positions on offense. We're going to have to step up on defense to overcome that. That's what he would be saying if he were standing here and one of you would not be here right now. We lost a good player. We lost a great man and a mentor for many of you. So we've got to do a little bit more. We got to sacrifice, like it says on the back of those shirts, you're going to have to sacrifice something in order to make up for that. Okay? It hurt me. It did. But you know, that's why you have more than one guy that sits in each one of these rooms. We have Dan Coates in the room, and we have Ben Utech. Ben has played in this league for five years. Uh, Dan has played in three. We're fortunate in that manner. Number 23, Jeremy Johnson, knows all too well what Kelly is facing. A year ago, Johnson lost his season to a knee injury. His comeback has started painfully slow. He's got to come back and prove, which is what he wants to do, prove that he can still do it like he did it before. Jeremy's a lot like a lot of the guys. He's in a battle to try to make the football team, and, uh, you know, he's embracing his chance. Yeah, it's a battle, and I accept the challenge. See it? Hut. Good. Yeah, come on, JJ. Come on, baby. Come on, Doc. Come on. Spin. Do something. Great. Come on, baby. Got to give him the work. Let's go. Coming off an injury, it's hard. I've never been injured, but I'm experiencing how when you coming back, the doubts that you have about yourself. He can play the position, but the big deal is, where is he going to be physically? You know, what are his limitations right now, just in his condition? Jeremy's fighting himself back. You know, he, uh, he's been dealing with a weight issue. It's hurt him. When his weight has been down, he's played really good and been one of the better fullbacks in the league. When his weight gets away from him, he gets injured, and uh, he's ineffective. 260 is the best weight for me, 265. Unfortunately, Johnson has reported to camp at 276. Any player that's not in the, the type of condition, if it's not warranted, uh, then they probably should, you, you're better off without them. You know, we need a fullback. We, we're bringing them in, we're auditioning them, and whoever the best one is, we'll, that'll be our starting fullback. See it, hit. That means fourth-year pro number 38, J.D. Runnels, has a shot. J.D., he's the pit bull kind of guy, a small guy, but has that determination. Well, that was a nice job of just zipping through there. You see it? You know, he just doesn't have the bulk that these guys have initially. Chris Presley has the bulk, but he's a long shot, an undrafted free agent. <laughs> Presley knows all about being an underdog. He's been one his whole life, growing up poor in New Jersey with a single mother. She really didn't have the funds that we needed, you know, to raise a family. But she tried, and we always, you know, we, we lost our hell house a couple times, and electricity was always cut off a lot. When they, the winters, they couldn't cut them off, but some summer came, we'd always know sometime coming from school would be off. When he first started playing at Wisconsin, was I remember when I went to visit him, I was like, you got all these shoes and you got cleats because when he started playing football, I couldn't even afford them. We didn't have much of anything else, but we had each other, and that was important. Presley became a father while in high school, but still managed to graduate at the top of his class. Just made sure that I can get the grades I needed just in case football didn't work. High school was a 398, college 4.0. Just like I look back on the Wisconsin field and look back on this field, hopefully I can look back on when my playing days over in the NFL and say, you know, I achieved some dreams that I really worked hard for. On some other things here before I get to the rest of you, uh, Kelly uh, is home and. Uh, if you uh, can give him a call, I'm sure some of you have. I think he will like hearing from people. Hey, hold on one second. I got a room wants to say hi to you. Hold on. Reg, what's up, man? Nice. Reg. What's up, Reg? What's up, Reg? <laughs> I'm not there, but I will be there as far as encouraging the younger guys, showing them the ropes, giving them some kind of direction. So even though I can't be out there physically battling with them, I'm going to give them all the little tricks of the trade, anything I can give them. It's going to help get them an edge. They're just sitting here smiling. Their nuts are starting to shrivel up because of the scrimmage now, though, but 
The tight ends are putting in extra hours for the scrimmage. Reggie Kelly may be gone, but his work ethic remains. When I see the tight ends stepping up being leaders, it, it, it does something to me. How are you stepping on that? Are you... So, a little more stay here? A lot of times when you go through a lot of adversity, you can see the guys who have heart, and you can see the guys who, who are going to give up. Those guys you don't want on your team. Because the guys have so much heart, I know that this year is going to continue to carry on. Compete on three. One, two, three. Compete. Can they step up and do it? Without a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. Ben Utah can definitely come in. The guy has some of the best hands in the NFL. You're so focused on what's going on, and you know somebody's down. But then when you see the ambulance come on the field, practice just kind of stops. Is his wife here? No. My first thought is, is his wife here? Is she in the stands watching practice? Is his daughter here? You start thinking about all those things that don't have anything to do with football. Those are real life matters. Once Reggie went down talking to Ben, he was, we just had a conversation about how ready he is to step into that role, to be able to take on more burden, and then to see him go down like that, it's really tough. Before we went on to the next period, I wanted to give you a little update on Ben again. He had lost consciousness for a second. When he, he came back to, he had use of his extremities and everything. Uh, he had some tingling, but that was uh, going away. Ben suffered a concussion, but as he left the field, he was fully conscious, and he has been taken to Georgetown Community Hospital for further evaluation. Well, this was a uh, tough one. It, uh, I think we are all right. I think our guy's fine, but that was scary. And when that kind of thing happens, you worry. Get about uh, 30 seconds. Ten seconds. Bengal has reported to camp but one. First round draft pick Andre Smith remains unsigned. It's extremely frustrating. You're offering them so much money and yet for some reason they're saying that it's not enough. There's no animosity. All I know is that usually these things end up working out. I would hope that it'll work out with Andre sooner rather than later. Though he has never played a down in the NFL, Mr. Smith's reputation precedes him. He's grabbed headlines by changing agents, leaving the combine early, and underperforming on his pro day. I thought 18 was uh, an interesting question. All right. In what situation will you not run a four-yard dash with your shirt off? Get for Andre Smith. Okay. All right. Here we go. 19. Smith is 500 miles away. Training alone in Alabama. 
trying to shed pounds and his image. There you go, good. If I had to do it all over again, I would handle it different, but it's in the past, I'm looking forward. I'm not even harping on it anymore. It's just what I'm gonna do now to change the perception that people have of me. Good, good feet, good feet. I just continue to prepare, stay in shape, get my footwork down and get my legs in shape. Just being a professional. Quick feet, quick feet. Hey, you the total package, baby. They don't call you to shut down, master. You gonna shut everybody down. I don't want to sit out long at all, you know. I want to be able to be up there, compete with my teammates, bust my butt, and have fun playing football, which is now my job, and I love football. I mean, I wouldn't rather do anything else in life. There you go, way to turn out, way to turn out. You ready to go, baby, like you ready to go. The Bengals aren't waiting. They fill Andre's roster spot with one call. It's Jim Lippincott with the Bengals. How you doing? I got a call from my agent Sunday morning. You know, they asked me, are you ready to play football? I was like, yeah. It's like, we pack a bag, you're going to Cincinnati. What do you say, Gus? Ready to work. Are you? Yes, sir. I hope so. Can you remember? We only have 11 offensive linemen here, and that concerns us a little bit. With the long two days that we have ahead of us and four preseason games, we're a little short on the offensive line numbers-wise, and we want to shore it up a little bit. I mean, it definitely is. You know, difficult because, you know, you're behind the eight ball. You know, guys have been going through OTA, so they've been getting used to the plays. And, you know, I've been just trying to learn as much as I can, fast as I can. If I do, I'm stepping down and going up for that sand, right? No, no, you got your plays confused right now. You're getting your, your plays confused. 25 duo is a double team play. I'm sure I'm low on the totem pole because I just got here. You got to earn your way up there. So I just got to keep working, you know, and, and just see where, see where the chips fall. Because you realize I can hit you with my elbow from here. Forget the hand. How you gonna hit your elbow? Oh, yeah. Right there. Yeah. You just hit that's over. Was that not blocked? Come on. Gotta work. No one works harder than Chad Ochocinco. Sure, he's got a mouth. But he's also got drive. And he's determined to overcome his awful 2008. Even with the bad season last year, I'm better than half the people that's done it. Now, that might be a look arrogant and cocky but it is what it is. He is back to his normal weight. He's full speed. Uh, he looks good. The biggest thing I want him to do is everything right. I need to hear the things that they say I can't do anymore. He's done, he's washed up, he's getting old. Child, please. Hey, that's one of them like, child, please. Child, please. You know what child, please mean? Child, please is a nice way of telling someone, you know, you. Like if somebody come to you, if coach come to you and be like, man, did he cover you? You can just look at coach and be like, man, coach, child, please, because you really disrespecting me, right? Like, I really don't need to explain this to you, but if I say it with some, with some, some oomph, Chai, please. Chai, please. That's like, man, f you too. You feel me? Try it, man. It's work. Camp is a week old, and number 23, Jeremy Johnson, is still trying to get back in shape. He reported to camp at 276 pounds. He's now 279. Johnson's struggle means number 38, J.D. Runnels, has a shot at making the team, and he's making the most of his chances. Just like you did now in that uh, banana, you gotta feel that. Okay, that's something you have to feel. You gave a look. Yeah, I know, but if he's wide, all right, if he's wide and he's coming up the field, then you just have to feel it and get that adjustment. That's right. That's the way to find it, J.D. Yeah. It's all very depressing for Chris Presley. The rookie has spent most of camp as a spectator. I'm not as excited because I'm not getting as many plays as I wanted to, as I thought I would. Chris has been an underdog before. And so now just by being in that spot, that's not, it's not nothing unusual for him. It may not be unusual, but it ain't good. 
camp is a numbers game. The Bengals have too many fullbacks. Everyone knows one of them will have to go. This kid right here does not have NFL qualms. Yeah. The injuries at tight end have forced rookie Chase Kaufman to earn his stripes in a hurry. I think uh, we're fortunate uh, we invested a draft pick there in Chase Kaufman and a guy who, uh, who really has to probably answer the bell a little quicker than we had hoped. I think you're going to have to give Chase every rep he can take, John. I think it's actually kind of made it a little bit easier just because I am put in that spot and I have to, have to do well and have to do this stuff, learn a lot quicker. I like the way you took off on this guy, Chase. Pretty uh, savvy on your part, Chase, trying to get back over there and get on the end. That's good on your part. This was a good job by uh, Chase. One of his better jobs on getting across the fork, you know, sifting through the coverage and getting over there clean. And you hate to take somebody's spot because they get injured and something like that, but that's the way it happens, and you just got to roll with the punches, keep working hard to be the best player that you can be and step up and take their role. He kind of stepped up when everyone went down, you know? Yep. He did fine. He's getting better. He's just, he's just I, I swear he gets better leaps and bounds every day. Let's have fun tonight. Remember, understand this. It's your first chance to play football. Nothing cheap. Nobody fighting or swinging at anybody. And I'll challenge you to a duel. <laughs> hey, Croc, I'm dead serious. It's on. It's on. Now. It's on. No, in the scrimmage. I'm going live. I ain't playing. Tell him once he crossed the white line, it's on, baby. Go back over there, loser. <laughs> what's up with the what's up? That's what's up. How does a four-win team begin anew? By competition. First, against themselves. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> and elbows today. Just know this, if you're in with me and you drop a ball, I'm gonna kick you square, square in the balls. Well, listen here, sugar, or whatever the hell you call yourself, delicious, honey, whatever. Like Poe say, if you want some, get some. And that's a quote from a famous Pope. Not the Pope, but Pope. Man, try please, man. You gotta expect to get held on that, because if you if you bust loose of the hold, you got yourself a touchdown. They ran double post and Leon just grabbed him. The last man on the roster is the first to make a mistake. Oh, yeah. Uh, it'll know the snap count. Gus Parrish doesn't look like an American Idol. In fact, at times, number 67 doesn't even look like he belongs on the field. Number 42, Chris Crocker, is everywhere. And getting the better of Ocho Cinco. Come on, come on. What's up? What's up? Drops the throw. Stepping up. Throwing near side. That ball is picked off. Score! 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 Put it away! Put it away! Finally dragged down. Good job. Good turnover. Let's go. Hey, you know what Paul said? Want some? Get some. You feeling good about yourself right now, huh? When you? You feeling good? When you? Yeah. You good? Don't change what you did. Let me tell you how pissed off. You know, pissed off got levels. Okay. What le I must give you a level one to five. What level you at? I'm on five. Like I'm pissed off to the highest of pissivity. That ain't even a word, but I know, but we just made it up. Pissivity. End from the three yard line. Play action to Vakapuna. Throwing deep side of the end zone and a great diving grab by Chase Kaufman, but he was out of the end zone. Go with it, run it, overrun it, overrun it. 
too stupid. We're too damn soft. You're gonna get run out of the damn stadium. Too many missed tackles, let's go. Didi Dorsey, big hole inside the 30, inside the 20. He's gonna go all the way. The effort and the intensity today is great. What we gotta work on though is the tempo. Those little things that early in the season end up biting you in the ass, we gotta take care of now. Finish this thing right, let's get better again tomorrow. Win on three. One, two, three, win. I wanted to uh, start with some other things here before I get to the rest of you. Uh, we brought in uh, Sherry and, and he signed, right, Duke? So we're at three, three tight ends. This is a wild thought, but uh, is uh, Harrington a guy that could be uh, used at tight end? Does he have any potential for that? Just as watching Chris as a defensive player, and Jay can talk better than I, he knows the kid better than I do, but he seems a little stiff, but he might be capable of doing it. I don't know that. He's got good hands, and he, he, he'd have to work with his pad level a little bit, but he can run. He can run pretty well. Uh, by tight end standards, he can run real well. We'll find out when we find out, and then we'll have to make our plans. Probably what it means is we'll go with two fullbacks at the end and uh, three tight ends uh, instead of four. It just is a little different way of getting lined up, but I think that's where this takes us. It's day 11 of training camp. For one of the Bengal fullbacks, it's also the last. JD, open up a minute. Hi. We're putting you on waivers today. Which means that, you know, you did not make the team. Uh, the way this works, you're going to have 24 hours for teams to claim your contract. They say why? It, it's, it always comes down to numbers. And it's an ability thing. The only reason we always cut players here is ability. No other reason. Wow. Um, are you flying back to Phoenix? Hmm? Hold on, guys, just a second here. There'll be a van out here at 7 o'clock that'll take you to the Lexington Airport. Can we need your both special teams and regular playbook? I'll be back in a little bit. Once I told him what was going on, he was uh, upset. Some guys take it differently than others. This is never easy because you see how he, how he and others will react. And uh, when you have to tell somebody, the best way to do it is to be as direct with them as you can. When it becomes apparent that somebody isn't going to make the team, it's best to give them the best chance to get on another team that you can. Probably doesn't realize it at the, right now, but this would be in his best interest, too, to give him another chance. 